something. Yeah, he's no longer with the company. Can I help you with something? Hey, Queefy boy, how'd you like that uh, episode 18 of Slotham Buries the Darius Trucks and Army? Did you like it? Yeah, I know you were watching there, you prick. You're sitting in your disgusting, dingy apartment that smells like cat piss. You're watching the Steelers and the Ravens, and you're cranking it to the friggin' football players in tights. And at the same time, you have my friggin' live stream on of me burying and destroying every aspect of your chinless from one angle, double chin from another angle life that you have, Queefy boy. How do you like that, huh? You thought that you could control my comment section a long time ago. You know what the reality was? He was jealous at the fact that I could make Amico videos that were funnier than him, right? And he didn't want me to supersede him over in the Amico community. So he had this bright idea alongside Albert Menendez, a five foot two shrimp homeless, prancing around the streets of Florida with a cement pillow and a friggin' Nosferatu at nighttime, he had this bright idea. Let's control Slotham's comment section, and if he doesn't, we're going to threaten him and say that you're going to lose our support. What support? You guys were jealous from the get-go, all of you. Cyan, James, Albert, <coughs> friggin' Dean, uh, Darius Truxton, you're all jealous. You know why? Because I'm a success story and Darius Truxton, you're a failure. Your little Truxton army only follows you because they know that you're a loser IRL as well. You're in your mid 40s, Darius Truxton, and you've never driven a car. It's not that you've driven a car and now you're, you know, you're low on cash, which you are, and then can't afford a car. You literally never driven a car in your life. You don't even know how it feels to hit the accelerator, hit the brake, turn the steering wheel and no, your little bumper cars at the C and E friggin' thing doesn't count idiot. I'm talking about a real car with a real engine with real combustion. All right. Your little go karts and your stupid electric little friggin' tricycle that you have. That doesn't count either. Your little friggin' fat Sean Murray, some piece of trash with a friggin' wife that looks like the uh, female crypt keeper. She's like, looks like the cat, like a catcher's myth. All right. Her teeth are decaying. That's a fat lard that friggin' uh, laying on his uh, hospital bed, crying on Twitter because he missed his insulin shot. Well, guess what, Sean Murray? No one cares. And guess what? From a message from me to you, I wish you the worst. Okay, your little stage 10, stage 10,000 diabetes, you can't even get a heart on in here because you're so fat. You're stuffing your face with cupcakes and your dad is also a fat lard that also is a piece of trash. That's you, Sean Murray. You look up to Queefy Boy because you know that Queefy Boy is also a loser. Darius Truxton, the guy who proposed to Ursha Gaming, proposed to Ursha Gaming with Amiibo toys and then gave her 50 reasons why Ursha Gaming should marry some disgusting low income Darius Truxton doing friggin monkey work at Franklin Empire. Hey, Darius, remember when you worked at Franklin Empire doing monkey work, friggin creating boxes on the assembly line, doing whatever, like the worst employee you could ever think of wearing your stupid little flood shorts and your double XL shirt that says property of the game chasers on it. You're working there at Franklin Empire and you had this bright eyed idea to freaking make videos youtube videos from your break room with the lights off you think you're so funny and then what happened level one online came along and got you fired from franklin empire darius how did that one feel we know how that one felt because right after you got fired you went to the docks with your flood shorts and you freaking cried and talked about a little mortal combat review remember that idiot then at the same time, you're doing your stupid little slushy vlogs and then Coach Booge gets a friggin' sign or a, or a hearing of what you're up to, what antics you're up to, because it's ruining his life and his friggin' hot wife that he has and his nice family of two kids or whatever that you can't see, Darius Truxton. You are never invited to a family event, Queefy boy. The only event that you were ever invited to was your friggin' cat, your two dead cats funerals, idiot, that you had to call your mom to friggin' pick up the two carcasses and bury them for you because you, you're not a man enough to do it yourself you're crying like a little girl the same way Darius Truxton you cried like a little girl when you friggin uh, got beat up lifted up to the ground instead of fighting like a man you friggin grabbed the guy's crotch we wait we later realize since you have a diaper fetish because you recruited Prince of Diapers who's friggin launching rocket deuces up in his diaper pissing in his diaper and then rubbing against the goddamn mattress jizzing in the diaper and he likes to feel it full that's a friggin freak show and you Queefy boy are freaking recruiting him into your army seeing it is somewhat disturbing. That is literally the most disturbing thing I've ever heard in my goddamn YouTube existence. A guy launching deuces in a diaper that he wears that are supposed to be for kids and for adult seniors, but he's doing it in his freaking mid twenties because he's a freaking freak show. Joining the stupid adult diapers club. That's, that's Frinza diapers right there.
Hey, Queefy boy, why don't you do yourself a favor and actually get an actual job instead of lying on your stupid smelly piss, piss smelling mattress of cat piss, sitting there, lying there with your sorry weakling carcass that you never freaking exercise a day in your life, waiting for your freaking pay as you go phone to ring so that your Apple One agency can call you and say, get your sorry behind up, you piece of trash, and go clean turds out of urinals from the most disgusting warehouse you can find in East Hamilton with a bunch of friggin' crackheads and homeless people. Go there with your pink tricycle and go there and clean turds. You're waiting for that call. But guess what? You didn't get that call because you pretended to be busy the whole weekend, didn't you? You want to say, you want to tell your little insult army that consists of Dave C, some openly racist prick who friggin' drinks alcohol, beats his wife, then comes on YouTube, to makes comments and laughs about it, how he beats his wife. You want to have that loser believe that you're friggin' so busy this this weekend right you're so busy guess what it kind of snowed here uh around the gta uh, in ontario and uh guess what you don't have a car to go anywhere because you can't drive you only have a pink tricycle well guess what your pink tricycle's wheels don't have chains on them to freaking go through the goddamn snow and ice so you're sitting at home in your cat piss and your cat feces smelling apartment because you have your goddamn litter box under the washroom sink and when you take a shower once a month it smells up the whole goddamn 2772 idiot and then, yeah, what happened when 2772 happened? You cried like a little girl and ran away for two to three months because extra stuffed crust dominoes got sent, huh? And then Robert was freaking telling you, Oh, I'm really sorry, Robert. I just want to just wanna play. I just want to play games and watch cable TV and freaking LA Night because Darius has a crush on LA Night. Shut up. All right, you make me friggin' sick. You're the one that started this rant business. I'm the one that got involved thinking you would rant back at me. And now we all find out that you're a little coward that can't even mention my name in your goddamn live chat. When my name is mentioned in your live stream, you friggin' threaten the stream that you're gonna end it all and just stop the stream. Yeah, that's what it is, huh? That's what I've done to your life, prick. And then we got friggin' Dean TV, some failed father who waved away his rights to his eight-year-old son versus friggin' James Campbell. I saw that video, Dean TV. Okay, so your girlfriend does look like Reginald from Family Matters. That's what I'm saying. Friggin' Sergeant Winslow, whatever the hell his name is. That's who your girlfriend looks like, Dean. Reginald from friggin' Family Matters. That's who it is, all right? So it's not my fault that you're friggin' having intercourse with someone that looks like a man. That's on you, but that's expected, right, Dean? Because you procreated with the most ugliest woman known to mankind, Jasmine. And then you got the nerve to sit there in your stupid little house and you're telling friggin' Flat Earth Gamer that he friggin' married a 400 pound fat Estella wife, which he did, who has a mask and a haircut, which she does, um, who's friggin' fat as hell, which she is. But guess what, uh, Dean TV? You procreated with the same thing, a 400 pound fat, uh, Jasmine, which she is, a masculine haircut, which she does, and guess what? On the topper on your one, Dean TV, your friggin' uh, pro, uh, baby mama turned a lesbian after she broke up with you and then married a lesbian husband. That's on you, prick. Okay, so both of your friggin' wives are disgusting. You're both of your little baby mamas and James Campbell's um. Uh, uh, fat Estella wife, they're both disgusting, okay? You're both friggin' ridiculous. You both, both of your standards are friggin' so low that you now friggin' have a girlfriend that you friggin' bought a house with that's a chicken shack that looks like Reginald from Family Matters. That's you, idiot. Jesus, and then the James Campbell makes a little short saying, oh, I'm a short bus rider and I derailed your steam. Yeah, derailed, you can't derail anything, okay? You're on the short bus, you're not even in the driver's seat, James Campbell. You have a hobgoblin nose, you have a freaking 400 pound fat Estella wife, Estella, okay? You got that, she's feeding you two pounds of lasagna right to your face and you're friggin', uh, who knows what happened? I think she broke up with you because you couldn't friggin' pleasure her in, 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 in intercourse and in bed. So now, James Campbell, you're friggin' drinking crappy beer here, going to a friggin' bar, creeping out woman. Little, little do they know that you're embarrassed online. Little do those women know that you friggin' lost your house and got evicted from it. Little do those women know that you're friggin' got, you said it's safer to jaywalk, you got hit by a car, and then you friggin' missed out on the court date. You went to your mommy's house, and little do they know that you sit in a colorful bathhouse sauna sending new DMs to Darius Trucks, an idiot. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. And then he got friggin' Ricardo Cody. Ricardo Cody's the most hated 
most hated person in the retro gaming community. It's so funny that not even one community of people in the Herbie Derby, Snakes, Rats, Deed, friggin' Buttocks Bunch, there's nobody in the friggin' uh, community that likes Ricardo Cody. Why? Because Ricardo Cody lies. I called that out from the beginning. When he first started mentioning my name when I was going after Darius, I didn't even know who Ricardo Cody was, right? Then I finally have to like, okay, let me look at this guy. And I watched some videos. I'm like, yo, this guy just lies. And I said that all the way at the beginning. I'm like, guys, think about what Ricardo is. He just lies a lot. And now we're still to this day saying he lies. Hey, Ricardo, you left your daughter in Brazil at five years old just so you can come to USA, shove NES cartridges up your behind, and then live with three male roommates who also shove other things up your behind. That's you, Ricardo, Cody. Hey, Ricardo, you're the piece of trash that wanted to be put in the rotation. And then when he got put in the rotation, you lost your channel of 18 years, moron. How did that one feel? I know how it felt because you made a video right after crying walking freaking talking to a tree and touching grass saying let's touch grass you came on live stream saying you're done with the drama and then here you are in the freaking buttocks munch these friggin' losers over there, you're there crying on their stream because you can't even put a stream of yourself there, Ricardo Cody, because your channels keep, get, uh, keep getting taken down. How does that one feel? No matter how much work you do, your channels will be continue to taken down. And the only one that actually talks to you in a live stream was Doshin, who is trolling you, and he doesn't even come over to your live chats anymore. No one cares about your crappy life, Ricardo. You're some mid-40s loser that friggin' went to a game convention and creeped out Destiny FOMO. That's how your age how do you feel about that and the only reason you did that ricardo is because your lover boy uh, darius truxton told you to queefy boy your master who i bury every single day and who i made cry every day, single day and darius truxton there's nothing you could do about it except play your little 300 plus hours of tears of the queefy boy